welcome back today's video is probably my favorite progress so far on the ultimate we go on an epic adventure to unlock one of the strongest weapons in the entire game this weapon is the ember light it is a newer weapon that is the upgraded version of the arc light using the tormented synapse drop from tormented demons this weapon is the overall strongest weapon against demons there are many demons that i will be encountering doing things like slayer and bossing making the ember light indispensable some relevant demons range from greater demons, demonic gorillas, to the likes of Kirill, Sire, Duke, and many others. This weapon is storable via stash unit, so I can keep it forever as an ultimate. Make sure to like the video to let me know you enjoyed it and support the channel. We have to start this grind from scratch as I first have to get the art light. And not only that, I have to get at least 30 ancient shards from catacomb monsters to fully charge the art light. The synapse will only combine with an art light that has at least 10,000 charges, counting infusion. We will talk more about infusion later, as that's kind of a new thing. But this grind has many different steps and layers on the ultimate, so sit back and enjoy. Yo, I'm blocking these iron dragons, by the way. Alright, we're gonna kill the wormlings instead. I can finish this task twice as fast and try to get back to the catacombs faster for the ancient shards. Oh, yes. There we go. Black demons. All right, we're back at the catacombs. Let's get it. Hey, 67 Slayer. Oh, Dark Totem. We can get the Ancient Shard off a of completed totem. Oh, that's that's actually really good. Yes. Bigger and badder. Nice. Perfect timing. First ever Smoke Devil task. That's going to be superior chance. That means a better chance at totems as well and, and all the you know other stuff like Imbue Heart. Let's open this up so I can like what <laughs> broken dragon hosta. Oh my god. Ah. Priest collection log. What? Back to back mystic dark rose dust. That's insane. That's actually crazy. Well, at least we can store the mystic. Never going to be able to take it out, though, but <laughs> yes, we got another ancient shard. Just one more and I can make the art light. This is pretty big. 80 range. That means I can wheel fire crossbow, venter bow, etc. etc. Our Missouri, but yeah, we, we're not getting any of that anytime soon. Yo, this guy is a hundred percent botting. He's been doing this like five times. Look at this guy. Oh, he's back again. Oh, he does it again. Like, what even is this bot? Like, I'm so confused. What even is this bot, man? Oh, hell yeah, we got 68 Slayer. Yes, 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 yes. Three shards. That means I can actually begin making the art light today. So we're going to have to go for uh, the end of the dam to go for the stash unit over uh, there in the middle of this dungeon. So we got a lot of work to do, boys. But finally, I can free up some space. A 76 prayer, boys. Finally got the level. Oh, 106 combat. Oh, I'll pay. There we go. So we got this now. Let's turn this into the art light, I guess. All right. How do we do this? Use it on the art light right there in the middle. What? Oh, use art light on the center. There we go. We got the art light now, but we can't store it just yet. Whatchamacallit. We need the M of the dam. So that's what we're going to do now. Do some shades of morn and get it. Get some sacral oil and use it on these like shades and then burn it for the keys. Then I can open up a chest in like the dungeon inside these wooden doors. Olive oil into sacred oil for burning all the shades. There we go. We got the first key. All right. Now we're going to burn this one and get a, a better tier of key. All right. Nice. We got the steel key and now we are going to go further. There we go. Black key. On to the next tier. Max out these keys. Oh, I got a flam tier bag. That's huge. That's actually useful if I go dry. But it's like 1 in 15 from one of these uh, guys to get the amulet. So not bad at all. Wait, I didn't get a key that time. Oh, man. All right. I guess we'll use all the brown ones. Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. Let's go. That was easy. Well, we got some extra keys. Might as well open it. Oh, fine cloth. Hmm. And a Harku. 
yeah for the most part really useful stash uh there's a catch with the end of the dam though i gotta make sure this thing does not degrade at all because if it ever degrades like I accidentally wear it and then it goes down a bit if i die with it it disappears but if it's full like this it's fine i guess just to be extra careful make it a use so i don't accidentally wear it oh yes dark tone of middle oh my gosh all right well we could be doing our first ever scotizo which you know it's pretty nice try to sneak in a lot of ca's probably with it oh my god no way back to back ancient shard totem haha <laughs> Oh my god, no way. With this in the art light, sweet. Theoretically, I need 24 more. Yo, another? Dude, two ancient shards so far from this one task, man. Yes! Oh my god, another ancient shard. Alright, that's nine ancient shards. There we go, 88 hit points. Beautiful. Hey, 69 slayer, let's go. Hey, 90 strength? Oh, what the hell? They made Scythe of Vitter 90 strength work. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, yo, nice. 198 dust doubles. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I think it's time to go barraging. The grind for 30 ancient shards will require over 5,000 mobs, which is a long time. This is one of those grinds where I wish I didn't have to cook food, but I don't want to miss out on a proper meal. Thankfully though, I got my factor meals that will solve both of those problems. You can get delicious food quickly and conveniently by checking out today's sponsor. Factor is a meal subscription service that provides a wide variety of delicious tasting food. It's healthier than fast food and costs less than ordering online. You can choose between 35 plus weekly meals that are delivered to you fresh and never frozen. Factor offers many dietary preferences. I ordered a bunch of Factor meals recently. I just had some smoky Gouda chicken tonight and it was juicy, tender, and packed with flavor. I've never had more free time on my schedule to get more done thanks to Factor. Click the link below and use code on the screen to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off next month's order too. Or use the QR code on the screen. Using my code also helps support the rice fields as well for double the gains. Oh, Dark Dorm Top. Yes, we got it, boys. Oh my god. We completed a totem. That's huge. Oh, another ancient shard. Yo. Use some of the bars from the Dust Devil Task. I can buy this for now. Because then I can uh, put ice gloves on it. Alright, so this should work, I think, if I just do this, right? Ah, there you go. Combine Smith's Glove with your Ice Gloves. Scotizo on the account. I want to say I'm decently prepared for this. No, how did I miss, bro? There we go. This part of the fight sucks, man. Alright, is the eyes done? Okay, looks like it's done. Yes! Nice, we did it. Three tasks done in a row, but that was pretty hard without run energy. Ooh! We got some good drops too only one ancient shard though yes oh yes and no at the same time because i have to kill abhorrent specters some super attacks would be nice oh actually you know what if i get some errors from them i can just make some super attacks problem solved yeah finally done man but look at this guys like look at my limpward seats holy this is guaranteed 300 plus limpwards all right, boys, it's the return of the bone crossbow uh, life when I go AFK for the night. And yeah, I just want to like edit or something or chill. Uh, the reason why is because <laughs> I did the uh, math and freaking steel arrows are actually worse, at least on Slayer tasks on most mobs, than freaking bone bolts with, yeah, bone crossbow. And it's way cheaper too. Yo, 70 Slayer. Holy shit, I gained two Slayer levels today. Hey, we just hit 81 range. Oh, I got another ancient shard. Let's go. We can now add another set of ancient shards, and we are now officially halfway. Okay, let's receive another. Oh, there we go. 73 smithing. Hey, 81 attack. Nice. Oh, my first ever superior. This is so cool. 
There we go. We got him. Ooh, eh, nothing good, but it's okay. You know, guaranteed totem piece. Hey, nice. We got a range level 82. More to go. I'm just going to be AFKing a lot. Oh, yes. Dark totem top. Hell yeah. Oh, 71 Slayer, boys. There we go. Damn, 270 points. That's what we're talking about. All right. Maybe I can, I don't know, unlock something with that. But definitely going to have some just to skip some tasks. Oh, my God. This battle staff from a freaking superior. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I got to out this miss battle staff, though. Oh, man. Bye. That'd be crazy. Oh. Oh, man. Only one inch in shard. Yo, Jagex really got to put a search option on some of these freaking interfaces, man. Because they're so hard to find. Okay, there we go. Current castle found it. All right, we're just going to build one since we're doing a lot of Slayer and we got to go to the dungeon. There we go. Another range level. Believe it or not, Bone Crossbow and Ceratas is pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, my third totem. Holy, the Debo Warrior, guys. All right, we add another one. Ooh, that's crazy. Only nine more to go. Holy, nine more to go, boys. Hey, 89 hit points. Let's go. All right, boys. A4 range. Keep it going. Hell yeah, 72 Slayer. Oh, that's huge. Uh, Wyverns is actually going to be part of the plans for uh, Torrent Demon Prep. Oh, holy shit. I could get my last three shards off of this totem right here. It's possible. <laughs> it is time to catch some red chins for the Scotizo chin task. We're boosted and everything. Even brought my bone dagger. Got sharks from some clue scrolls, so I'm using that. Two prayer pots. And of course, the chins. Uh, we're also going to do the no art light challenge as well. We're going to use the zombie axe, bone dagger, and then chin to finish it off. Good luck, us. Oh, wait, no. Yes! I got it. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, that was good. All right, let's see how many sharks we get. We only need three. Oh, only one ancient shard. Dang. God damn. There's one variation of like the demons with that freaking face. It is absolutely not cute. Hey. All right. All right. Officially, guys, one more shard. Oh, I got it. Hmm. Ooh. All right. I'm going to put the final three shards in here. There we go. It is fully charged. Dude, I already got a greater demon task, and actually, I could stop here. Oh, yo, watch this, bro. 65 or blur. Ooh, 66. Oh, yes. Defense pots. Let's go. Bro, look at this. 400 per pot, four, and like 200 strength pot fours. Oh, four doses. I think we're getting to the point where we really need to consider using the death bank a bit more just to hold things temporarily. But it comes at a risk, of course, if I were to die a real death. Whatever's in here, right, would disappear. But luckily, it's just an ancient shard, a dark tone base, which are leftovers. Oh, wait, that's a combat achievement? A and a diary task. Okay, sweet. First wyvern killed, guys. Yo, adamant bars. That's one of the main items that we want. We also have the smithing level to make adamant bolts, too. So that's perfect. I just got my first ruby drop. We're going to be making a lot of ruby bolts and a bit of diamond bolts. Ooh. Hell yeah, we got those adamant bolts, boys. There we go. First range level at Wyverns. Oh, all right. This is the last kill of the trip. Anyways, check out what we got from about 3,000 bra bolts. We got 30 ranars, which is insane. 10 snapdragons as well. This magic lock here, that's like 500k probably if I uh, fletch this and sell it to the store. So we're probably going to do that in a bit. All right, boys, we made all the adamant bars into adamant bolts. Now we have 2.4k. Uh, we clearly don't have enough rubies and diamonds. Hey, all the magic logs are done. Okay, now we just got to sort out these gems. Oh, nice. We got some rubies. Nice, more rubies. Oh, and a dragonstone. Uh -huh. 
we need more than that so i think the rest of the rubies and diamonds i'll just buy from the Tazar store so we'll we'll do that once we process this to buy the rest of my gems for my bolts so yeah we're just gonna sell enough chaos runes until we get twenty-two thousand. nice sweet we got enough bolts tips now for all the diamond bolts you see this cosmic rune here from the mainstream arena shop well it only costs five enchantment and nothing else and remember we used a lot of the cosmics to train here for a bit so i have like so many points sweet all the bolts are done all right all that's left is to do all the quests associated with wild Gothic sleeps so we got one sit to do a tale of two cats to do so let's get to it boys I was about to do one hit, but unfortunately, I got to do recruitment drive. And of course, this quest is another one of those annoying nothing in your inventory or equipped. So that means I have to death bank. I might also do another quest while we're at it. Uh, it's called Devious Mines. All right. Completely naked. Oh, I passed the test. Let's go. Yay. All right, boys. These are the unintentional dangers of the ultimate Iron Man. You have to really make sure whatever it is that you're doing does not result in a potential death. So right now we got to go to Taverly Dungeon. And honestly, this is dangerous. These guys are dangerous. That's why I make sure I have my prey mage on right now because you don't want to accidentally get two shot, you know, by the blue dragons. Oh shit. Fucking hell, that's scary. Yay, we managed to complete one it without dying, so that's great. Oh, I got it, yes. All right, cool. We got the pouches that we need for this quest. And, uh, okay, we are good. All right, boys, crisis averted. Definitely don't recommend going to the abyss with your death bank. Nice, we did it, Devious Minds. What a tricky quest, man. Oh, 66 Runecraft, though. And 74 smithing. Hell yeah. I'm ready to start processing some of these items. We're going to do the ore first, gold first, then coal. And then we're actually going to train our cooking to 80. Because getting 80 cooking is going to mean I can cook these raw sharks. This gold smithing method really sucks on a UIM. Because of all the constant dropping. Thankfully, we only have to do this if we get... Gold ores. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hey. All right. Shout out to Karibo and Twitch for the uh, axe tip here. Nice. All right. There you go. That's for the boys. Although we are not PKers at all, but we got some good points though. 16 points. I learned about this pretty cool AFK cooking method from a UIM viewer involving the Piscalarius fish shop and a log sack. This shop has a ton of cheap raw fish like bass and tuna. The idea is to buy an inventory of raw fish, start a fire there and just cook them and drop them. With the log sack, you can light 20 fires before needing to refill so you can stay there for quite a while before refilling. This method was pretty good XP for AFK and it's pretty easy to hit over 100k cooking an hour. A first level. With this method here, it's definitely a good balance of XP and AFK. I'll, I'll say that it's like 50-50. I guess uh, when I run out of logs, I just run a short trip from here down to here. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of oak trees. All right, another cooking level. Watching a show is pretty good, but like if I'm editing, unfortunately, this is a little too too much clicking so i'll probably do some regular fishing cooking something to know about the price of these fish is that the tuna and the bass is super cheap 40 gp per whereas lobsters and like stuff like swordfish they're like double the price and not double the xp it's only like a little bit more xp a nice sunny for fishing ending our afk session to start the day at almost 75 cooking, 1.2 max XP, so I need about 800k. Now we're going to be doing the main cooking method. I wanted to do mess hall because it's often considered the best cooking method for ultimates. I prefer FK scaling, but I really want to start while Gothic sleeps for TDs. So mess hall it is for speed. Pretty straightforward method, you just make 13 pizzas and place them in the hall and hot worlds and repeat. 
I was getting around 170k an hour, but it is possible to hit 200k an hour. Dang, I gotta do it like this though. It's kind of weird. And then use the savory. Okay, so after we make all of this, we just put it on the table, get some fat XP, and then we hot worlds. Now the appreciation is going down. So it's not instant, it's like gradual. So yeah, it's just hot worlds every time. Okay, yeah, okay, we're, we're getting it. It's really straightforward, honestly. Just remembering the order. Can we hot worlds? 75 cooking, let's go. Okay, so you only need like a few world hops. Like maybe like five, six, seven, maybe at most. Can I put it back? Oh, I can put it back. That's awesome. Hey, another cooking level, 78. Two more to go. There it is, 79 cooking, but not the real level. We need one more to go. This should send us to the level of our dreams right here. Yes, let's go. 80 cooking. We're so done. Members can now cook shark. I am so cooked up from doing this for like five hours. What the hell, man? I've never seen uh, <laughs> Bob so far away, like in the middle of nowhere. Hey, we did it. The last quest for a walk up the sleeps. There we go. 77 prayer. Sweet. Hey, that's all the prayer levels uh, required for all the prayers done. Okay, I think we are nicely geared up. All right, let's begin. We got food this time. Some prayer pots and all that. So I don't know who I'm attacking. To be honest. What? That's bullshit. Man, get out of here, bro. Hey, nice first fight done. Oh, epic. Just got a attack level 82. So this is really sick. This elite black knight armor, I'm actually going to keep it. Because I can store it in my house and it counts as proselyte, I think. The inventory is wacky. We're going to try to fight the boss like properly, so we need all kinds of runes. Alright, it's time for the fight. Alright, apparently I can do this to cancel the uh, damage. Yes! There you go. There we go. Now we can kill it. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we have enough food. Because, like, I managed to get it down to 60% there. But I already ran out of food. So we're going to have to uh, figure out some other strats with more inventory space. All right, I'm doing the olive. Just spam click. Holy... Oh, I got him. Let's go. Oh, man. That took like five tries. I'm not going to lie. Damn, look at that door, though, man. That shit's a menace. Oh, boy. I mean, this is definitely going to be the hardest part of the quest. Man, I am not hitting. Wait. Oh, wait. That was melee? Oh, I already messed up, boys. Dang it, it's just the color is, like, hard to tell. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna turn this off, because, like, the highlights is fucking up my, like, ability to see what color it is. Because he's gonna go fast pretty soon. He's attacking so fast now. Oh, God, this part's hard. <laughs> Get him, please! Come on! Oh, no way. Just hit it, six. Yes! All right, that wasn't too bad. Two tries. Ooh, just got to focus on that prayer switching first before anything else. Our character is literally freaking glowing, man. We're like super sand up. Yes. Damn, it's so crazy hitting so high. Look at the freaking experience and everything. So good. I think I gained a level in like every skill. And what kind of levels do we get? 76 thieving, 81 farming. Beautiful. Oh, dragon fruit trees without having to boost. Hell yeah. 67 herbaler as well. Oh, I can make some lanta dimes or clean them. Sunny for hunter as well. Oh, magic birdhouses. Okay, that's very good too. Hell yeah. And of course, the fun part we get to go and kill some uh, tormented demons. Yeah, let's go and do it. We got 173. Okay, let's go with this inventory, guys. But yeah, we got our art light on stab and then ruby bolts and diamond bolts for range. And a dark great axe for the special attack. 
the nice thing is that they made them non-aggro anymore so that's really really chill let's talk about the art light and the infusion feature that came out with torn to demons when the art light is charged up i'm actually allowed to use the charges because the infusion feature tracks the charges used as long as the current available charges and the infusion charges combined is 10,000 charges or more, you can use the setups on the art light to make the amber light. There is one caveat. I have to make sure the art light never runs out of charges and turns into a dark light. If it reverts to a dark light, then it resets the infusion charges to zero too. So I got to make sure I check the art light periodically so I don't let that happen. Like one of my homies in the FC that accidentally reset it. Alright, uh, it's pretty chill. It's just slow. Very slow with my setup. Nice. We got our first kill. A thousand Slayer XP. So this is going to be really good Slayer training. Alright. Nice. There we go. Through the fire and flames. See, eh? Done as well. Cool. Oh, 77 with the Dark Axe. So nice, man. I'm glad I saved this Dark Axe. But that's fine. Oh, I can hit 49 though with the art line. That's pretty nice. Nice. Yeah, you see that Dark Axe tech? If you do it well, man, you get so much extra DPS on them. And thankfully, crossbows also get a bonus hit. Slayer level. If it's Praying Mage, it's like the best thing ever. Because then I can bait it into Praying Range, even though I'm mailing most of the time. I just put the range on when it's like 76 percent or something and then and as you can see if you do it that way so much extra damage because my melee is so much better than my range that's crazy you just get so much gp compared to the first week so many room play bodies you used to drop adam in bodies so funny oh i did it let's go ruby landed nice i still get to hit like a 69 though even with the damage reduction oh another one <laughs> Oh, got this CN teleports. Hell yeah, nice. Now I can get back really fast. Oh, I, oh my god, look at that ruby. 109! <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I freaking procs when the shield was down the second hit. Oh my god, that was awesome. Oof, 81, dude. Oh my god. Nice. That was a guarantee, uh, 33. So that, that was a miss with a Dark Axe. I feel like five teleports is good enough to keep me going. So I can actually drop this Sapphire Lantern. Day two of Torrent Demons. I'm bringing the Sunlight Crossbow just for this trip. Because I want to burn through these uh, bolts that I have. And I can also do one of the CAs really fast with it as well. Oh, I got it. Rapid Reload. Yay. Not gonna lie, Bone Crossbow is pretty damn good here too, so. Let's see, I've used like 800 charges here. And we've done around 70 kills. That's gonna be at least on rate for one synapse, so we should be okay, hopefully. Fingers crossed. What about ammo? Alright, we're gonna talk to this guy because he can sell us this thing called the Bolt Pouch, which is really, really good. Since I'm using the Antler Bolts right now... We don't need these other bolts, so we can save an inventory slot right now. Like this. You click, and then it'll switch over, so it's really nice. Thank you. Oh, 74 Slayer, dude. Damn, we're actually getting 25k Slayer XP an hour, dude, doing Torment to Demons. They're so freaking good. There we go, 78 Prayer, and 108 Combat as well. Oh, nice. Just hit 87 range. 75 slayer guys you know what that means let me show you if you're not sure gargoyles very good tasks uh xp wise money wise also there's a boss too all right first ever tormented demon task done this is our uh, loot so far as you can see nothing crazy but um yeah we'll be back we'll be back we'll be back oh man that task of tormented demons gave me over a million alks Oh, shit. I already got another Greater Demon Test. Yes. Oh, let's go. And knew that extra Ancient Shard that we just put at the freaking 
uh, freaking his four death bank is gonna come in handy. Bam, there we go. Now we can prolong the art light in the event that we do go dry. Probably enough to get me to like 900 KC or something, so. Alright, here we go. Time to slay my second task of the Tormented Demons. Ooh, 85! Oh my god, that was so good. Oh! Oh, oh my god, I got the synapse! Oh my god, oh shit, I actually got it, dude, we got lucky, oh my god, second task, 240kc Alright, we gotta learn how to make this thing, so she's gonna teach us how Oh, there we go Yes, ooh, freaking ember light on the Ellsmire, man, oh my god, that's actually insane, dude Holy, especially the accuracy on this thing, like, god damn. Basically, double accuracy, a few more max hits. Holy. Alright, well, let's finish this Torn to Demon task and see what else we can get. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, 51, I already see my, one of my close to maxes. I can hit above 50s now on demons. Hey, just got 81 defense, let's go. Dang, okay, we're getting like 30k an hour now. That's awesome. Holy shit, what the hell? Do, what? Two people got Carol's leather top at the same time. What the f? Hey, nice 76 slayer. These guys are so good, Slayer Speed. 83 attack. Building up stats for the inevitable gauntlet. <laughs> Yo, 109. I haven't hit that in a long time. Oh, there it is. 88 range. But this should work. We got Ember the Dam with Ember Light here. So, hey, look at that. Beautiful. So, such a overpowered weapon that I can just take out of the stash whenever I want, man. So, so nice. Oh, nice. 91 strength. Let's go. Almost halfway to 99. Well, we just did another Torn to Demon task. Oh, what? 79 prayer. Damn. I want to do more Tormented Demons in the future because they're still fun, great Slayer XP, and Bone Claws would be nice end game spec weapon for the future. It's probably one of the easiest ones to get, but it won't be for a while. For now, I think it's time to work on the Sunday or for somebody else. Yes, it is time to bust out another Grandmaster for another big grind coming up. As always, there are some behind the scenes general progression featuring some clues and quests and few other important things that happen alongside the ember light grind so enjoy hey yo look at this this is huge this is huge 80 farming dude oh all right let's build the spirit tree baby oh 83 farming oh that's easy watch this boom boosted bypassed hell yeah that's nice we can also go to our house via the spirit tree now all right there we go Oh, nice. I got Kronos. Yes, that's really good. That will speed up the spirit tree and increase the chance of it surviving. Yes, we made the spirit tree and, it, and it's grown. Nice. All right, we can now get a task from third up pretty easily. All right, so I took up my dragon pig, got some volcanic ash because I'm going to turn all of this super compost into ultra and then just put it into the yeah bombless bucket because i'm running very low oh we're about to get a thousand plus ultra compost baby yeah i'm just gonna open these so i can save space Ooh, cool the mithril skirt all right two hard clues out of three from greater demons Ooh, gilded man okay we'll take that we'll take that some money Yo, and... Oh, oh, let's go. Guthix D high boots. Yo, I can wear this for range now. Oh. 800 gold. Oh, there we go. But we got this now and we can store it as well. So, very convenient. That's crazy. That's a dupe. Oh, Bob's shirt. That's really good. That's a Lee Clue item. That's crazy. I did not know they were worth 5,000 each. You can out these, right? Oh, you can't out them, though. That's that's why. Or you can sell them, right? 
Yeah, you can sell them to the store. So strange. Vortis has a freaking black rope spawn. This is really nice because I can get a blue die and just die this. Alright. Let's open this up. I've got an easy black armor. And oh, okay, we got Adam and Kai Shield. Clean up some of these clues. Whoa, nice. H1. Cool. Oh, ancient page four? No way. I already already have this. No, I don't. Yes, that's so good. Yeah, we're gonna take a break from Slayer real quick because I keep getting this birdie rot related clue steps. So I figure it's time to go and start doing in search of Myrq. Man, this quest is pretty ass, dude. Look at how much shit I have to bring all at once. This guy won't even take me on the boat without the weapons. All right, we finished the first quest in search of Myrq. Sweet. All right, there it is. Another quest done, and I think that's where we're gonna stop here. There we go. First game done. And we're gonna pick the watermelon seeds. Wow, we're gonna 15 to 30. <laughs> oh, and oh my god, it's another birdie rot step. Let's freaking go, man. See? This is why I'm telling you guys, you gotta do this freaking quest, man, to get there. This teleport is gonna get us a magic level. Holy shit, a level 90 skill. Ooh, I can mine tier 9 size stars. That's pretty good. I think that's it. That's the max that you can mine for star mining. Even though I can't keep this book on me all the time, getting it back is pretty easy, pretty free, and it's really nice for more than just PVM. Just good for some clue scrolls as well. And medium, what is this? Double bands again. Holy shit. Wow. I have like pretty much all the headbands, I imagine. Holy shit. I got all the bands. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make the fancy rejuvenation pool. But yes, uh, we do have it planned out. I have Snapdragon seats right now, so I can easily just make the potions right now. Wait, that's seven right there. Hey, we're good. Hell yeah. 85 construction. We do have that with the boosts. Love it when the contract reward gives you the seed that you need. Oh, this is pretty cool. So this guy is literally tick manipulating freaking calcified rock.